shout out to Rob at Space Coast Woodturners for this piece of orange. Uh, They're taking down an orchard and um, he grabbed a bunch of pieces and grabbed some out of his car after the meeting the other night. But we're going to try and turn this into a goblet. First thing I had to do is get it into round. I don't know how much of the crotch is going to show, so we'll see. We've got a little bit of uh, punk right here. Uh, we'll see how far we can get with that. Very nice. What I was hoping was I was going to get rid of this punk by now, but I didn't. So we're going to flip this around and put it on the uh, spindle and see what we can do. I'm going to round this just a little bit more. I'm going to bring it in. Not too much, though, because i got to check my depth of my hole, which is two and a quarter. Well, actually, I can do that real quick. Two and a quarter puts me right there. So we're good. I am going to put captive rings on this goblet. First, we got to get this top part cleaned all up and ready to do the inside of it. Pull the tail stock away. And get it right out of the way. This is a homemade hollowing tool. Another video out that shows how I made it. It works pretty nice. Very, 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 very simple. If you've never made one of these, these are a lot of fun to make. They're pretty quick to do. I got a good lip right there for the first, yeah, I'd say maybe three eighths of an inch, but then it's thick. So we're going to come back and do that. Ooh, that's doing really good. I am past the center cut there, so now I just got to clear the bottom half of it. All righty, this is new for me. So this is a hollow form rest that allows me to stick my uh, tool right flat at dead center and come around. But I'm going to try it very carefully. pretty darn good. I'm real happy with the way it feels right to there, except for right here up on top. So I'm going to try and come in from the far side here. I'm going to move this over a little bit. Turn my light off to the side. And just lightly, get this nice and flat, just lightly touch this. That is a robust tools, uh, hollow form rest. It allows you to go in further. What I need to do is spend some time putting some wax on this and my tools so it slides easier. That worked great. All right, I'm gonna swing, swing up the tailstock. And put my cone back on. Nice and comfortable, nothing you don't want to put too much pressure on it, you just want to hold it steady. Next, we're going to make ourselves some rings. I'm just going to clear this out so it's just under the size of the top. Last time I did this, my wife didn't like the size of my rings. She says I made them too small. I made them more like something you would wear. One thing I learned, before you cut them off, get to sand it up as best you can, but boy, afterwards it's stuck. You can sand them, and I've got little sanding pieces that I can put on, but what a pain. If you can get these cleaned up, then all you're doing is cleaning up just the inside. 
Pretty darn nice. All right, gotta cut them out. There's one. And there's two. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this one to this end. I'm going to tape this one to that end. And then we'll clean out the inside. So, well, that worked really, really well. Do that again. Got the outside sanded up pretty darn good. So I'm all set with that. We're just going to get the inside sanded up on both of them. And I'm not worried about 220 or anything like that. I'm just trying to get it. I'm all set. I'm going to tape both these to this end. And we're going to work this. I'm going to add some detail. This is how thin do we go on the uh, stem. I like to get it down to about pencil thickness. I'll stick with that. I'm going to put a little one down here. That is pretty much the same angle. Let's sand that up a little bit. A little bit of a tool mark there yet. We'll clear that with some more sanding. So I've got the rings, the, cap, the cup, and the detail finished. Now i got to bring this down. But what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put some super glue on this just to see if that'll help. It may be gone when we get done, but it looks like it comes right straight through. Let's put some super glue on that. I'm trying to get this punk here to stabilize a little bit. So I'm putting a couple of coats on it. I'm going to let that firm up for us. And now I'm going to try and just get this down to about the thickness of a pencil. There, stretched out quite a ways, about as close as I can get her. Feels and looks pretty good. All right, let's see what we can do with the base here. That super glue worked really well. I think I'm going to leave that just about like it is. Let's see. we got to get the base off yet, though. Came out really good. It actually had some neat little detail to it. I got a little bit of a concave on the bottom. I'm going to round this right now. I'm just going to use sandpaper to do it. Before I separate this. Pull the tailstock out of the way. And very gently. Separate this baby. All done. Sand it to 220. Bring it up so you can see the rings. This is all punk down here. This area here was very punky. This is super smooth. And I just put super glue or CA glue in there and just cleaned it up with some sandpaper afterwards. And it did a great job. The bottom has got a little bit of punk right there, but I put super glue on that too and just sanded it back up again. That is what's known as an Irish wedding goblet. Captive rings representing eternity for your wedding. Pretty. This is a piece of orange uh, from down here in Florida. This is wet. So I'm curious as to how much it's going to twist or split or whatever afterwards. But right now it looks really, really nice. I'm liking it. Cool.